Hello, welcome back. This is Dave Reiner from Senators Technologies. Uh, just recently, I had an, ins uh, an instance where I needed to generate a custom uh, but well lateral pipe fitting, uh, sometimes commonly known as a Y fitting. Um, so I looked around and um, I found a couple of things on uh, the internet, and here's a an ASME uh, laid out uh, chart. So I needed a six inch uh, fitting. So and uh, they gave me two different um, types, whether it's going to be a fabricated or a form fitting. So Either way, you know, I'll, I'll probably try to go after the fabricating fitting since this is going to be a custom make. But um, either way, the processes are going to be the same. So let's uh, just start a new part. And I'm going to create a new sketch. All right. So I'll bring up my toolbox and we'll just start with a circle. And this circle will be uh, the OD of this six inch standard pipe. And I will do another circle. And this will be the ID. And this will be 6.065. All right. And we'll stop the sketch, come up my toolbox, and we'll extrude. And I'll take part that I want. Now I want to do this um, non-symmetrical. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, go for a two-sided dimension here. And you can see off to the side, let me move this a little bit. Uh, here's my shape and let's just start with this one. I'll pull it a little bit and you'll see that my dimension starts coming out. And from my chart, um, this dimension is going to be 3.5 inches and the other side and let's just scroll down a little bit this one is going to be 14.5 and we'll say and it will be a new body and we'll say okay all right so there's uh, there's the beginning of my lateral the straight through pipe so to begin the lateral side of it uh, let me turn on the origin. Here's the, the origin inside. I'm going to create uh, an angle plane. So let's just go up to the construct pull down and here is a plane at an angle. All right. Now I can select the line. I can come over and either just select my X axis or I can just come in and hover over it. And you'll see right away that I'll, it's kind of hard, I'll zoom in a little bit. You'll see I've got a plane in there and if I rotate it around you'll see I can get it to an angle that I want and I'm just gonna for now put in the standard which is 45 degrees and we'll say okay so I've got my plane in there what I want to do is now uh, I'll go back to the offset I'm gonna put an offset plane I'm gonna select that plane and drag it out now this dimension is going to be the same as this back side length all right and that came out to 14 and a half inches so um, since I'm going in this direction I'm going to put a negative 14.5 let's zoom out make sure we got it and that looks correct so here's the plane that I'm going to draw my next um, profile on so let's start another sketch I'll select that plane zoom in. I just got to be careful here because there's the center of that plane but there's the center of the origin down there and that's the one I want to make sure that I get. So let's um, let's start another circle and you're gonna see that I can latch on to both of them but I want to make sure that I've got the center of the origin. All right and um, so what I need to do is this is going to be uh, it's not going to be equal legs I'm going to make this one unequal legs and this one's going to be a four inch so uh, the OD for this is going to be 4.5 and let's do another circle and this is going to be the ID which is 4.026 
So I'll stop this sketch and I will bring up my toolbox. I'm going to extrude the pipe itself and I can go either a distance or I can come down to um, next. I can I can choose this plane as as uh, the next object but I'm going to leave it a distance and uh, I'm thinking about doing another video on this but for right now that distance uh, is going to be uh, the 14.5 just as uh, the long side of the lateral the straight pipe now I want to make sure that this is a new body I don't want to cut so let's do a new body all right and that looks correct and I'll say okay all right so I can turn off my origin so you can see that I've got uh, my horizontal lateral uh, my horizontal straight through pipe and my lateral going through so it's a six inch and a four inch pipe um, what I want to do now is uh, I could have did it I could have done a join but I want to do something different to make it a little bit easier to delete some of the things I don't want so uh, I'm gonna come up to um, the modify pull down and I'm gonna select combine and you're going to see right here that uh, it's going to ask me for my target body and I'll say this one here and the tool body I'll say this one and I'll leave it as a join operation and I'll say OK. So what happened here? Well it ended up taking two bodies and made them into one. So combine both of these into one body but the nice thing about this is I can come in and I'm just going to select this lower half because I don't need it. I'm going to say select delect, uh, delete and I can look down inside here or I can come up and underneath and know where so this one doesn't work so well so I will go into the inside I'm going to select that surface and say delete so what I have now is a very nice um, lateral fitting that is all one body so this works pretty nice. Now I can continue to play with this a little bit. Uh, I can certainly come in and um, let me add a fillet and I will select that outside and there's a number of selections you can do here. You can do constant radius, you can do a chord length. Uh, they all have just a little bit different appearance. So for this I'll just put a 0 0.25. I think the walls only 0.26 or 2.8 so um, can't go too much larger than that especially if this is going to be a weld fillet all right and you will see that the difference of this is a chord length compared to a constant radius you'll see um, you know it's a little bit different here than in the back um, you know this this may be what you're looking for and that's fine I'll just do the chord length for right now and I'll say okay and I'll add one more and I'll put it on the inside I'll also make that a chord length and we'll go to uh, let's put this 0.25 also and we'll say okay alright so we've got an internal and external fillet if this happens to be a weld fillet for a fabricated piece uh, what I like to do is, uh, and that's it, uh, that's the nice way, to, the quick way to create a, uh, a fabricated um, butt weld lateral pipe fitting. Um, what I might do in my next video is we'll go into um, the parameters and we'll take a look at how we can adjust this part if we want to make custom lengths or custom angles on this lateral. All right. Uh, so that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, like it if you did and thumbs down and don't like it if you didn't like it. Uh, leave a comment. Um, always looking forward to some input. So thank you very much for joining me. Until next time, this is Dave Briner. Uh, have a great day.